guys. Let me get my mic on. Oh, Lord. I have it on the wrong side. My sound guy's not here. Dave is not here, so I'm on my own. Hey, DS, how are you? I hope you guys can hear me okay. Let me make sure that I'm streaming to my other places really quickly. Um, for those of you on TikTok, you guys, I go live generally whenever I have a new release. And so I have all my new decoupage papers here and I'm gonna show them to you guys one by one. And um, so you guys can see them. They just came out today. So I don't sell directly, but I do have retailers who carry the paper. So if you guys are interested in buying the paper, you can go to RoyCycle.com and you can find your nearest retailer and they will take care of you. If you do not, hey Lori, if you do not have a retailer near you, uh, reach out to your nearest retailer. Like 99% of my retailers will ship and they would love to take care of you. So I'm gonna be showing those in just a minute. Hey Donna, hey Barbara, accidental art maker. Hey Sharon, how are you? Um, hey Lisa, oh good, I was, hey Angie. I wanted to make sure that I was actually live and in the right places before we get started. So um, just super quickly, before we get started showing the designs, I wanna talk about our Christmas in July decoupage marathon that will be starting tomorrow night. It'll be um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. I'll have the promotion posted later. And each night at five, six, and seven, Central Standard Time, there will be a recycled retailer who will be doing a project using the new decoupage paper. So I hope you guys will join us for that. You guys, some of your regulars will be there and there will be some people you haven't seen in a while because we have not done a decoupage marathon for recycled in ages. And um, there'll be some people who've never been live on, on recycled before. So I'm excited for everybody to participate. But Let's get to the good stuff. You guys are like, wait, I know some of you guys have seen pictures, but I like to go over the papers so you guys can see in the real scale. So when I was putting together um, this collection, you guys, it is so hard. There are so many more designs that I wanted to make the cut, but they did not. My um, industrial people, I owe you an apology. I do not have anything for you on this release, but I promise, promise, promise on the next release, there will be several sheets of rusty gold goodness, I promise. Um, but let me go ahead and get started. I have a few designs. Some of the designs are holiday designs. We have a new artist, uh, Ricky Schumacher, that we're celebrating this um, quarter. I'll be posting her um, information on the website right after this live. And of course, we have um, some, I don't know, I'll go through them. We'll get started. So. I'm just gonna go with the stack that I have here and I have my cheat sheet y'all because I cannot even remember my own names. The first one is called wallpaper. So this one you guys is just like the vintage wallpaper. It's just a smaller scale. So I saw a lot of you guys creating with the vintage wallpaper and I heard you guys loud and clear when you said, oh, I love this paper, but I wish that it was in a smaller scale. So this is a smaller scale. It is a repeat. So if you're working on a larger project, um, you can use multiple sheets to cover that larger project and it will work. And so these are just super pretty cabbage roses. I think that um, pink and green, although there's a lot of red in here too, are like um, classic colors that go together. And so that's the first sheet and it's called wallpaper. And I feel like um, it's not like traditionally Christmassy, but it is red and green, so it could be Christmassy, right? And if you guys have questions, you guys can ask me, because um, I did bring my tape measure. So like, if we wanna know how big the rose clusters are on here, let's see. The rose clusters are approximately um, seven, six or seven inches. Cause I know it's hard to tell scale, right? So these are like six or seven inches. So this would be good for a piece of furniture, but the roses are also small enough, you guys, for your small craft and home decor project. This one, oh my gosh, you guys. So I have to tell you guys the story behind this design. Um, when we saw Carmen's, Carmen made this huge uh, watercolor swatch and when we saw it, we knew that we wanted it. And this one was actually slated to come out 
um, in the winter 2022 release, but we just had some logistical challenges and so we did not get it out. I brought this cardboard because I feel like the transparency of the paper sometimes prevents you from like getting the full effect of the color. And so um, this one is called Color Swatch, I believe, Carmen's Color Swatch. And we wanted it because we thought it was fabulous. I just think it's funny how creative, I think there's like a, a string of consciousness between creatives because I've seen a lot of watercolor swatch designs come out like in multiple forms in different places. And so um, I'm super happy that we were able to get this out to you guys um, this quarter. It is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this. There are so many options. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you guys love this one. Good, good, good. And so, um, and if you guys are watching, if you guys could share this post, please. I've done an abysmal job of marketing my launch this quarter. I owe my retailers an apology so bad, but just, I don't know. Life has been life in y'all lately. Life has been having hands. So I have a series of designs here. I wanted to, you guys know that I've been working with texture for a couple of years now. And usually when you guys see texture for me, it's been like um, rust or a patina texture. Um, we've had, um, you know, wood as texture, but I really wanted to vis visit fabric, um, for this release. And so we have a couple of fabric textures that we came out with. This one, um, has been something that's been my personal favorite for a while now. And so I was happy to be able to share it with you. I actually have this already on a piece of furniture in my living room. And this one is called mud cloth and it's a super simple, um, and I can't really, it doesn't really show up here, but it is um, a textile texture. So it's not just a flat black and white. It does have a textile texture to it, but I just think that this one can be used for so many different things. Um, if you have like a modern, I just, whether it's a modern space, um, an industrial space, um, farmhouse, I think that this is going to work beautifully in any of the spaces. And so this is the mud cloth and this is one of the designs. And again, the sheets, the new sizes for the sheets are slightly different than the older sheets. They are actually 21 by 29 versus the 20 by 30. So you actually get a few inches more with the new sheets than you did before. So there has been a small change. And this one is also a repeat. So if you have a space, if you have a project that's larger than the sheet and you need to use multiple sheets, you can do that. And so this one is called Mud Cloth. And if you're new to Recycled, these are 18 pound tissue sheets. And so when you decoupage with them, they disappear beautifully to your surface. But the 18 pound tissue is um, more resilient than like the 10 pound that you buy um, to, for your gift bags, right? So it's a little bit heavier but it's still light enough that it disappears when you decoupage. My very favorite have an area you run with the print. Oh yeah, so I've been trying to do that. Well, on this one I have. This one was one, it's both fabric and it's also something I felt was missing. We used to have um, a coffee sack design and I pulled it because I thought, I thought we could do better. And so this one, you guys can see that it has the visual texture of a coffee sack with the topography. So I feel like this one can go really well with farmhouse, with industrial, even in a modern living room, something like this can add like really yummy texture to warm things up. And so, um, this is the coffee sack. Is that what I called it? Yes, coffee sack. <laughs> I have to check my own names, you guys. And again, these are 29 by 21. So these are huge sheets of paper. So whether you're doing a piece of furniture or you're using portions of it for a home decor or craft project, um, this one is actually one of my favorites. And I'm probably gonna say that a couple of times, but it's true. So that's the coffee sack design. And I just love the visual texture of that. You guys see that yumminess? 
Love, love, love that. And then this one, and I, if I mispronounce it, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sorry. It's Sashiko. And it's this beautiful ink blue. And it also has um, texture that I don't know is going to translate on camera. But this is actually a stitch. And so you can see the texture of the textile. You can see the stitches on these. And I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I'm seeing a lot of blue make its way into the home decor world. And I thought that this would be a beautiful addition for this one. You have so many favorites in this release, right? And so this one is Sashiko, which is a traditional um, stitching method. And so we named it after like what it actually is. And so it's this beautiful ink blue. Um, and I think that one's gonna be super fun with furniture and home decor. So let's do, well, we have a few Halloween designs. So let's do those. I have these broken up into like, um, and I'm in my living room, you guys, because I'm teaching a paper mache class right now and my shop is a mess. So you guys get to chill with me in my living room today. Okay, so let's look at, um, well, I'm saying Halloween. I'm gonna say fall slash Halloween, right? Um, the first one, and this one is artwork is done by Lexi Grinzer. And these are heirloom pumpkins. And so it is just a ton of beautiful pumpkins and florals that you can cut out. You guys really loved the pumpkins that we did last year. So we came out with some new ones this year and um, a really a bit of an alternative color pattern, a color um, palette pattern. Lord have mercy. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. A color palette. So super yummy texture. These are watercolor pumpkins um, and they're mint. We have them set up last year. I noticed a lot of people were stacking the pumpkins. So we were really um, cognizant this year to make sure that you guys would have the pumpkin size to stack. And we even have a, the small stack right here that fits inside of the Recycle Cloche stencil beautifully. And so this one is called um, Heirloom Pumpkins. And then um, of course we have some random size pumpkins in case you wanna do like individual home decor pieces. And we have another pumpkin design for you guys. And this one is called Stacked Heirlooms because we saw a lot of porch signs last year with the pumpkins. And so we wanted to make sure and give you guys like a really nice scale of pumpkins to use on like your larger signs. So the, the, the stacked pumpkins or the heirloom pumpkins are smaller and these are scaled much larger. Let me, what do I do with my measuring tape? You guys wanna know the size of this one? You guys can tell me, nobody's asking me for that. Usually you guys do. Um, sleeping is underrated. <laughs> Let me see. Oh Lord, what do I do with my tape measure? I'm fired. Okay, this pumpkin, this stack right here is huge. Don't pay attention. I folded my paper when I was messing around earlier. Um, let's see how tall it is. Let, let me measure it. So from top to bottom, the giant pumpkin stack is 18 inches tall from the top of the stem to the bottom. So this is a sizable, so 18 inches tall, that's a foot and a half. Um, so you can make like a porch lean, a leaning sign for your porch. So two and a half inches and you would still have plenty of room on the top to put like welcome or it's fall y'all or I don't know. Y'all know. Yes, this is another. Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't say that. This is another one from Lexi Grenzer. Beautiful. I always love all the texture. I just love, love, love it. Um, and I have a paper mache pumpkin that I'm working on and I actually think I'm going to decoupage my paper mache pumpkin with, um, this, this pumpkin. I'm going to cut it out and decoupage it on my dimensional pumpkin. Okay. 
And I have one more from Lexi. Let me see if I have any more fall. Let's do all the fall and then we'll go to the Halloween because the other one's Halloween. So this one is, let me look up the name so I don't lie to you guys. This is the fall botanical blocks. You guys have been asking me for botanicals. And it's funny because this is where my design started. I used to do nothing but botanicals. Um, and I kind of got away from it as we kind of um, start exploring other options. And so this is the fall botanical. You guys love birds. So there are tons of birds on here. Botanicals, topography, mushrooms. Um, I even have some labels on here. I actually really do love this one. I'm really proud of this one. Um, and the thing that I did, you guys, is I wanted to have holiday designs, but I did not, I wanted them to have a little longer shelf life. And so even though this is a celebration of falls and like the colors, it isn't strictly fall, right? You could use this all year round if you really wanted to. So this one is really for craft projects. And we talk about there being like tons of like yumminess in these type of papers because when you start looking up close, you can see patterns in the background and there's stamps and there's crackle and there's butterflies and topography and all the yummy things for you guys to find um, in this particular design. And again, these sheets are 20 inch, 21 inch by 29 inch. So this is a lot of projects that you're getting out of one sheet of paper. I'm looking for questions. Drink. Oh, do I need to drink? Am I getting scratchy? I probably do. I did make me some tea because when I talk a lot, this is what happens. Um, I'm just questioning. Drink. Oh, David Bell. What? I did drink, David. My husband's trying to take care of me, you guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, we have two... Oh, wait. We'll do this one. This one, I'm pulling it out as a fall design because it feels like fall. But the reality is, it really isn't strictly fall. So, this one is literally one of my absolute favorites. I enjoyed making this so much. There are tons and tons and tons of labels on this. And even though um, this is a master board, you could absolutely use this just like this. Um, we'll be posting a table that Lexi Grinzer did using this paper and she just decoupaged it as it is. And so um, just tons of yumminess on this one. I really did enjoy creating this one. And so while it feels like fall, it's not strictly fall. And so this one is the labels master board. I know, for real, Michelle, I am like seriously obsessed with this one. Um, I cannot wait, whether you're doing tags or, um, you know, ATC cards, this one's going to be super, super fun. And so this one is the labels um, master board. I'll open a Diet Coke hold, please. <laughs> And so our two Halloweens are, this is my Halloween master board, which is lovely and creepy. Um, I, I experimented with something a little different. Normally when I do master boards or um, project blocks, you have distinct edges between each of your scenes or the portions of the paper. And on this one, I really didn't do any distinct lines. And so... The whole design kind of bleeds together, which I think is going to be helpful for when you're clipping out things, you can clip them out exactly the way you want. Um, and there won't be like, you know, an edge for you to have to contend with. And so this one was super fun to make. Um, I guess I'm really proud of this one too. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this one because there's just so much yumminess in here and there's texture and there's um there this one is a little grungy so i guess for my industrial people there is some grunge in this collection just not any like you know the typical grunge that i do <laughs> to the dark side sherry <laughs> there's no dark side there's no dark side 
Um, our next Halloween one, it's like the, it's the complete antithesis of the last one. This one is super fun. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this one. This is another one by Lexi and you guys are used to her doing watercolors. I want to say she, oh, is, I think this is watercolor. If Lexi's here, she can correct me. But this one is the uh, Retro Halloween. I think it is so cool. And then we have some super fun candy corn. We have a few retailers who are not from the U.S. And they were like, what the heck are those? <laughs> but they're candy corn. Super fun, right? And I just, I don't know. I just love this cat right here. Um, but super fun Halloween. This would be a really fun gallery wall. Or if you're making like um, trick or treat bags, you can decoupage them on there. Even if they're fabric, you can do like iron on decoupage and decoupage these. This would be super fun. But um, this is a fun Halloween. And so that's all we have for fall and Halloween. Let me take a drink really quickly because people are telling me to take a drink. Um, oh, somebody's asking me to measure. You know what, um, Lisa, I will go back and measure those swatches, okay? Because um, it's at the bottom of the other pile. But I'll go back and measure on Carmen's color swatches to see how big the squares are. If I had to guess, I would say like, I don't know. Don't, I don't want to guess. Okay, so this one. When um, Lexi sent me the artwork from this one, I swear I gasped out loud. I love him so much. Um, this one is our winter stag, you guys. Isn't he fabulous? I love him. So fun. And again, this is Christmas, right? It's winter, but it's not specifically Christmas, so it has a much longer shelf life. And then we also did a smaller version of him on this sheet. Um, Lexi did paint, um, you know, a wreath of leaves around him. But like, if you don't want those, you can just cut those out. But we have tons of yummy flowers, the same ones that we saw on the pumpkins and the leaves. And then this fabulous stag right here. He needs a name. You know, we should have a contest. We'll have a contest, you guys, to name um, the winter stag. Doesn't he look like, I don't know, like what's he thinking about? He's thinking about something. All eucalyptus, yes, yes. Eucalyptus, leaves, it's just so fun. And of course, we'll be showing you guys how you can use these um, on your different projects. Um, the next winter one is traditional winter, but not necessarily Christmas, but it could be Christmas. And this one is, I want to say this is the winter master board. I'm almost remembering the name of all my designs. Oh, winter project blocks. I'm sorry. This one is the winter project blocks. Um, and so there's a celebration of an animal in each of the blocks on the top and then on the bottom, we have a couple of houses, and then, of course, we have the baby deer in the snow. And, you guys, this one is scaled perfectly to fit inside the recycled globe stencils. So, this one is super fun. If you are um, doing classes, that will be such a fun class to do. Everyone could make their snow globe, and they would have individual pictures in them. But you don't have to use them with a snow globe, right? You can use them with different things. So this one is the winter project blocks. Oh, good, Tracy. I'm so glad you like them. I know we're late. I'm usually a lot earlier with holiday, but it has been a journey with the manufacturing this year. So um, I apologize because I do usually try to get my holiday out a lot sooner than this. So this one is our neutral Christmas. Um, master boards I believe yes last year we did a traditional Christmas master board and that one is available again but this Christmas I wanted to do like something neutral and um, just I don't know 
it's kind of a celebration of winter and um, our, our Christmas trees. And so this one is a lot like the Halloween master board in that it has tons of yummy details that you may not notice until you look at it up close. Um, but there's scripts and there's topography and there's architectural elements and Christmas trees and animals. And there is some white grunge <laughs> in this one as well. So um, this one is super fun and again, you're making Christmas projects. This is a lot of projects. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven distinct project blocks on here, but the way that it's set up, you could make even more than that. And so uh, last night I started working on my bunting for Christmas and so I, I still have paper left over after I covered all of these bunting flags because you don't have to necessarily stick to the, um, the project blocks as they are, right? You can manipulate them to work however you need. And like on this one, I can't feel it, but I'm pretty sure that I wanted this little circle on here. So I just decoplage it on there separately, but you really, you can't even tell, right? And so the project blocks and the master boards are super fun. I'm also working on my fall bunting. And so I use portions of the fall um, master board for my bunting. So I've started some small projects and we'll have more projects for you as we move forward. Oh, let me take a drink. And I had a request from somebody no it's from Lexi it's Lexi's fault you guys I showed her the neutral uh, master board and she really wanted some larger um, blocks for um, like home decor and so I took two of the neutral uh, two of the designs out of the um, master boards and we made kind of these oversized project blocks which you can absolutely use as they are but again there are so many different elements that you can use them separately. So um, these are master boards. One has a bear and one has a stag. Um, again, topography, all the things that I love. You guys know how I feel about ephemera. Do you design these? They're beautiful. Thank you, I do. Some of them I design. Some of them, um, the watercolors are from Lexi Grinzer. She's a watercolor artist and she happens to be my um, on my team. Um, my creative director <laughs> on my team and she's super talented and then we have guest artists let's do our guest artist so Ricky Schumacher is our guest artist I'll be posting a post as soon as I get off today with more information about her Roy Cycled Insiders have already got a chance to be introduced to her um, these are so Ricky Schumacher does beautiful um, um, oh my gosh, I can't, I knew I was going to forget the word organic came to my mind first and that is not the right word. They're landscapes. They're, y'all help me out. Y'all know. Um, not organic landscapes. What's the word? I'll think about it in a few minutes. But, and she uses encaustic in her artwork. And so they are so ethereal. I just absolutely love them and so one of my furniture artists asked me for um some landscapes i cannot think of the word abstract thank you lexi lexi knows i just it was that so they're beautiful abstract landscapes um and they're absolutely beautiful um lexi's already done a project with these that we'll be posting later today and you guys will get to see that so if you're doing furniture these are so beautiful this one is called Standing Proud, and I just love it so much. And you guys, there's so much texture in these that I just really cannot show you on camera, but when you get them, you will see like all the yumminess that's just in these. They're so beautiful. Um, and again, the artist who did these are is um, Ricky Schumacher. I hope I'm saying her name right. This one I love so much the light in this one is just so beautiful 
Um, and again, so much beautiful texture. I have a project already in mind. I'm trying to put the board behind it so you guys can like see it because the light is shining through it and I want you guys to kind of get an idea of the true colors. Um, and so this is, okay, I'm gonna stop fighting with that board. This one is called, um, is this, oh Lord, this one is quiet. I believe this one is quiet. Absolutely beautiful. And so Rhonda with um, Ignite Furnishings has, she was the first um, creative on our design team or creative team. And she wanted um, some abstract landscapes. So I've been searching and we found these. This one is beautiful because it's on canvas and you can actually see the texture of the canvas in this one. And this one is called Stretching Forward. And so, um, just beautiful. I love these so much. And there's so much potential. And even though I'm saying furniture, um, this is so full of yumminess, you could use it on anything. Whether it's home decor, you can make a diptych or a triptych, you know, by cutting these up and putting them next to each other. Yes, abstract, I know. I know I just words leave me sometimes and it's always the simplest words you ever notice that anyways um, I keep saying these are my favorites but out of Ricky's the one with the light I love it because it's so warm I can almost feel that Sun on my skin this one I love because the texture of the wax translated to the paper so beautifully and so um, this one I believe is my first favorite from Ricky and then the one with the light is my second favorite but the texture is so incredibly yummy like you can just see um, it in there and so this one is called Emerald Valley and I do love this one I cannot wait to use this one and so that's our guest artist um, for this quarter is Ricky Schumacher and that's her like capsule collection. I'm looking to see if there's any questions. Your cup is empty. <laughs> when are we supposed to drink? Are you guys playing a drinking game without me? <gasps> what am I saying? It's probably something I say all the time. Like it's my favorite. Is that when we're drinking? Um, and then the last few that we have, I wanted to do the holidays, but I did not want it to be strictly Christmas. Um, and so we did some tartans and with our uh, winter stag, I just kept thinking of, um, a winter lodge. And so this one is called the blue tartan. It's just descriptive, but I cannot wait to layer um, the stag on top of this one you guys it's gonna be so fabulous I cannot wait or even if you do something that I do in my home is um, I don't decorate traditionally I don't think but I have like a rotating gallery wall some of you guys have probably seen it in my TikToks and so I'll make pieces for the um, season and incorporate it into my existing gallery wall and so I'm excited about these because I'm going to be able to make some really cool pieces. Oh, holy tartan. I know it's not the bell tartan though. Um, and then we have one last tartan and we knew that these colors were going to be different. And so we went ahead and did two smaller ones. I think this one reads so fall. And this one of course goes with the colors that we have on our stag um, with all of the eucalyptus leaves and also with the pumpkin. And so um, that is the collection for this launch. I hope you guys enjoy these designs. Should I go through them really quickly again? Cause I know people are coming on. You guys let me know. Should I go through them again just really quickly? Give you the names again. I don't sell directly. Hey, Drea, Drea. But if you go to RoyCycled.com, 
you can find a retailer who carries this. All the plaids. I know, Sherry, we know you like plaid. You can't bleach these, though, Sherry. I don't think. You may figure out a way. Um, thank you, Felicia. You're so nice. Um, so, again, this one is called, I want to say, this is the fall tartan. And you get two with the one piece of paper. And the scale of this one's a little bit smaller, right? Because they're smaller on there. And then we have the blue tartan, which is, um, I think, I don't know. I just, I think Lexi was ready to kill me because I was searching for the perfect blue to go with the brown of the stag. I just love him. This one is Emerald Valley from R Ricky Schumacher. Tons and tons of texture on this one. Absolutely beautiful. And when you get close up, there's so many different colors in these that you don't see readily when you first look. This one, oh, well, what I do with my cheat sheet, y'all? This one is um, Quiet, I believe. No. Oh, Lord, Stretching Forward. This one is Stretching Forward. And this one has texture. Um, visual texture. You can actually see the canvas texture on there. I just love that. When I get to Carmen's, I will measure the squares. I promise. This one is quiet. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I could just feel the warmth, you guys, from the sunlight in this one. I just love it so much. And this one is Standing Proud. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these abstract landscapes. Um, this one is Neutral Christmas Project Blocks. And you have two large project blocks with this one and all the details that are in there. And then we have the Neutral Christmas Master Board, which really we're calling it Neutral Christmas, but this is winter, right? So this one isn't like, it doesn't have to be specifically Christmas, but it's absolutely Christmas at the same time. Um, we have our winter project blocks, which are scaled to work perfectly with the recycled snow globe um, stencil. Super fun. And I don't know if you guys can see, but like there's like snowflakes and snow drifts in each of these um, because I was thinking about the snow globe. This is our winter stag by Lexi Grinzer. And you know what? I think we should have a contest for his name. I think that sounds like fun. And of course, all of the floral, the florals and eucalyptus. This is our vintage Halloween, which is super fun and bright. Um, this one's really fun. This one is a Halloween master board, which is grungy and um, I don't know. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a little dark, but you know. And then um, this is ab my absolute favorite is the labels master board. There is so much in this one paper, you guys. You could probably get, I don't know how many projects done out of this one paper. And then we have the fall botanical blocks. Those of you who have been asking me to return to botanicals and get and make some of those. So we have birds and botanicals and topography and this one is super yummy and when you get up close there are a lot of yummy bits that you won't see right away let's see this one is the stacked heirloom um and again this one is a foot and a half right and so these this my hands are huge you guys so these pumpkins are really big and some of them um, Lexi added florals and some of them we left and you guys can put the florals in any way you want or you can use transfers, right, to add florals. 
right? The colors are so pretty. We did want to do something a little different than traditional. Um, and heirloom pumpkins do come in, you know, different colors. And so these are smaller pumpkins to use with smaller craft projects. And again, this stack right here does fit perfectly into the recycled clothes stencil. This is the Sashiko. So this is like a little, um, I don't know, like a capsule collection of fabric textures. And this is actual stitching and you'll see it's imperfect. It's perfectly imperfect. Um, this is one of my favorites and will be going somewhere in my living room soon is the coffee sack beautiful um, visual texture that you can see in that one and topography the mud cloth this one is already in my living room in a couple of places <laughs> and um, I did it black and white because I figured if you wanted it to be warm you could always use a glaze to warm it up and so I wanted to give you guys options um, and so it's it's usually you guys know my whites are usually really warm but I did keep this a bright white um, and if you did want to warm it up it would just be a matter of sealing your project first and then going over it with a beautiful warm glaze um, and then this is Carmen's color swatch here and I did get a request for the size of the swatches so let me find oh Lord how do you lose something when you didn't even go anywhere how does that even happen seriously Royce oh, okay so the color swatches are um, almost an inch they're almost a full inch like but they're more than like it's almost an inch if you measure from one side of the white to the next one to the next it's an inch so they're just a little bit smaller than an inch a piece what was the name of the fabric looking sheet um joanne which fabric looking one this one is mud cloth and this one is sashiko so sashiko and mud cloth and then the third fabric um i guess technically a fabric is the the coffee sack Oh, Mike started cutting you. I saw you guys are making project boards. I like those. And then the last one is the wallpaper, which you guys already know and love this design. I just offered in a small scale and in a repeat to give you guys options um, with this one. So, and that was a request that I just, I, I hear you guys talking, that I've heard from you guys. And that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed these designs um there was 21 designs i know my retailers probably want to choke me out but we haven't had a release this year we're really late this year um we've had some issues with um just manufacturing and getting access to stuff it's still a little bit crazy so um, i appreciate you guys' patience for my makers i do apologize i usually get your holiday designs like april and may and we're really late this year, but hopefully you'll still have time to make some beautiful things in time for the holidays. Again, you guys, I'll be posting um, inspirational photos throughout the course of the next couple of days. We will be starting Christmas in July, starting tomorrow night. I'll be opening at five. I want to say Sunny is at six and Mike. Um, so Sunny from um, Poppies and Pansies is at six. And then Mike Kobiaka from um, Furniture Facelift by Kobe will be on at seven. So you guys, every night for the next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So for six nights, every night, five, six, and seven, we'll have a creative on live, on Facebook, on the Roy Cycle Treasures page, um, demonstrating some kind of project for the holidays. So you guys can come, you can get inspiration, um, you can hang out and you can see what everyone's up to. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys have any questions about any of the designs or where to get the designs, please don't hesitate to message me or email me. 
um, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day and I will see you guys tomorrow night, tomorrow night at um, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh Lord, these time zones kill me, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs>